All right, so right through this door is my room. Hey everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. In today's video, we're doing something really different. I'm gonna be giving all of you a room slash studio tour. I'm super excited, but before we get into it, I do wanna mention a couple things. First off, the audio might sound a little bit bad later just because I won't be using a microphone as I will be kind of walking around my room and I won't be able to like hold it with me. So keep that in mind. I also don't have the best lighting everywhere in my room. So just try to excuse some of the bad lighting and just enjoy the tour. Okay, now enough of all that, let's get into it. All right, so right through this door is my room. Here is my room. But before we get into any of that, we're kind of just gonna take things one step at a time. So to start, over here, right when I enter the room, there is the doll garage. This is my least favorite part of my room because I don't have anywhere good to store this. So it's literally just on the floor in a corner of my room. But yeah, that's not too exciting. Let's move on. So right next to that, I have a big shelf. Well, I actually have two big shelves. These shelves are basically just where I store my doll rooms and buildings. As you can see, this one is obviously a little bit more full. And on top of this one over here, I have the Barbie BMR 1959 doll boxes just on display. Each shelving unit has two drawers at the bottom. This one over here has all of my made to move Barbie doll bodies. So yeah, there's quite a few. Down here, this drawer is not as organized as I'd like it to be, but I basically just have all sorts of accessories in here and kind of just things I use all the time. Eventually I'm gonna get more of these candle holders to put more accessories in. I love candles, so whenever I go through them, I just reuse these to store my doll accessories. And then for these two drawers, I store my doll clothes. I just ordered these drawer organizers off Amazon and they fit in here perfectly. And I just have them all kind of divided into categories. And what do you know, more clothes. Now moving on from this area, which in my opinion is the least aesthetic, so let's just move right on. Through here, I actually just have my bathroom and closet, but I'm not gonna show you that because it's just more personal stuff and there's not really a point to, so we're just gonna move right over here. I actually very recently bought this bookshelf because all of a sudden I'm just really into reading. On this shelf here, I have all the books that I have yet to read. And then these three books I have already read. Now I've read many more books than this, but these are actually my books that I own. So that's kind of the difference. I also have a few different pieces of artwork that I did paint myself. This artwork here, I actually just painted very recently. And I really like it because if you put it in the light, certain things kind of shimmer, like the book cover and some of her jewelry. So I'm actually pretty proud of this one. And then randomly a purse because I actually have a purse addiction. It's a little concerning. And as I mentioned earlier, I love candles. So you'll spot those all throughout my room. One here and also one down there. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's a pretty pathetic bookshelf considering that like only 10% of the bookshelf is actually books. But eventually I plan for there to be plenty more. Over here, you can see that I just have this standing lamp next to my end table. It's pretty basic over here. Another candle, I actually took my time to light this one. And two books that I'm in the process of reading right now. This little alarm clock that I actually never use for alarms. It's just more for aesthetic, I guess. <laughs> A water bottle and my Google Mini. Oh, and this little switch here turns on and off my lamp. Now with no surprise next to my end table, 
is my bed. I actually really love my bed and the colors that I have going on. The pillows are amazing. And I do like this blanket aside from the fact that it gets all like torn up and it just doesn't stay in a nice condition for whatever reason. Like it literally just falls apart. But I'm keeping it here either way because it did cost way too much for me to just get rid of it. I have some fairy lights just going around my headboard. And then recently I painted this art piece thing going on. I'm actually really proud of how these turned out and I think they match my room perfectly. I have an obsession to the color pink. So naturally, yeah, I just love the pink flowers going on in this art piece. Next to my bed, I have this little like cozy area. I just have a full body mirror and a little comfy area over here. I have a blanket folded up, a little ottoman poof, some pillows, and a bunch of Polaroids, which yes, at the moment they are completely blank, just because I did turn them all around as most of them are personal photos and I didn't want to show those. So yeah, it looks better when they're actually flipped around. I have this little end table thing going on with a light up box that yes, I did put hashtag DD squad. So speaking of which, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be part of hashtag DD squad. What do you know? Another candle. This one is fresh cut lilacs and it smells so good. Something really cool about this little end table thing is it can actually open up. I don't wanna open it right now because otherwise the candle wax is gonna go flying everywhere, but it can open up and like flip around so the so that it's all this velvet everywhere and you can store stuff inside. So that's pretty cool. And now to one of my favorite parts of my room, my couch. I actually very recently purchased this couch and it is just perfect for my aesthetic. It's a beautiful pink color and I love the pillows I also put with it. Oh, and yes, as you can see, it's in front of my window, which yes, it is very, very much winter here in Canada. So yeah, fall doesn't last too long here. <laughs> I guess we're just kind of moving in a circle. So next up we have this area. <gasps> this candle isn't lit, I need to go do that. I actually have like the coolest lighter ever. It's a rechargeable one and just look at this. It's literally like a mini laser. <laughs> There we go. So this area is getting more into my actual YouTube kind of stuff and things I use on pretty much a daily basis. So on the top of this shelf here, we have my candle that we just lit, a little doll bicycle because I just think it's cute. I have these little couches over here with my miniature self, which by the way, there may or may not be some Delightful Dolls merch coming soon. So be excited for that. I have my silver YouTube play button some more candles and a water bottle for no good reason. <laughs> now on the actual shelves, I have my sewing machine and some sewing stuff over here, some markers, pens, pencils over here, some random books, which guys, look what it is, create this book. Do you guys remember those videos? I don't know if you do. And I don't know if you actually want me to make another one because it has been like years since I did my last one. And I know at the time, Everyone did love those videos, so let me know what you think. Oh yeah, and I do have a sketchbook here. Let me see if there's some sketches I can find for you guys. Here are my two most recent sketches. This random girl on like a balcony thing, and I thought that was kind of pretty. And then this random sketch of like random objects in my room. I just thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> and then over here, not too exciting at all, but I just have like some paper and, you know, printables, things like that, that I'll definitely use. I have four pink boxes on the shelf, which of course, of course they're pink. All of them are pretty much just very messy and have random things in them. So I'm not gonna show you inside. <laughs> Lots of these bottom drawers and cupboards are actually just empty, but I'll show you the ones that do have some things in them. This one I have things that I use all the time, like scissors, tape, pencil sharpeners, glue, sticky tack, all those essential things. In here, I have a pencil case and some pencil crayons. And then in here, just some random stuff like my hot glue gun and supplies that I'll be using a lot. Now over in this back corner, I just have some of my backgrounds and like my cutting mat over here. Just larger things that I don't really have anywhere else to store. Oh yeah, and lots of foam board. Okay, wow, we are so close to being done already. Let's move on to the last area, my filming area. 
This part isn't necessarily too exciting. I just have two big soft lights, my tripod for filming, which I'd usually be using right now to film, but I'm currently just holding my phone. I basically just like lean up my background against that back wall and film. It's not necessarily the best setup, but it works for me. I have this like big craft mat here. Um, of course, once again, that same beautiful dusty pink kind of color, um, like most of my room. I actually really love this desk because this section over here can actually be pulled out. So I always have this little extra area to do other projects or things that won't fit really on my desk when I'm filming. And I just love that. Here is my chair that I sit on all the time. It is really like creaky and stuff. So I hate when that gets into my videos, but it is super comfortable with this nice cushion on it. And all right, I guess that is my room tour all completed. Now you're probably wondering where lots of my other doll stuff is because obviously I didn't show it all and I have a ton more. That would all be in my closet. I have a ton of storage in there for that kind of stuff. But again, in there, it's just very personal things and I didn't want to show that in this video. But if you're wondering where all my other stuff is, it would be in there. But in my opinion, that stuff is not nearly as exciting as all the stuff in my room. I'm gonna give you all a quick 360 here so you can really try to envision how my room is. So over here, the awkward garage blank space area. <laughs> then just... the rest of my room. I really hope you enjoyed this room slash studio tour. I actually had such a fun time showing you all of this because I have been working really hard to make my room look super aesthetic and just nice. So I'm glad I could actually show it to somebody. Oh yeah, and I have this little chandelier in the middle of my room. I totally forgot to mention that. It's actually really pretty. As you can tell, I kind of went for pink, purple, gray, and white for my overall aesthetic, and I feel like it really did work, and I just love it. So let me know in the comments below what you think of my room and what your favorite part of it is. Mine probably has to be the painting I did recently because I just, I really love it. Before we end today's video, the shoutouts for today go to Friday. Frankie Stein Studios, and Daisy Davies. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. And remember, if you know a chance of getting a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and comment down below with the hashtag DVSquad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye!